it's microfinancing and um, basically you you put online like what what you want to do and how much money you need to raise to do it and then people that you don't know and people that you know who come online and say like I'll pledge ten dollars and you or a hundred dollars and you give rewards in return for their pledges so it could be like okay I'll give you a photographic print or a copy of the film or whatever for depending on how much you pledge. Make you dinner. Put yeah. Your name on the, in the film. Yeah. Well, people get real card. crafty. Yeah. But it's cool, you know, because it's like it, it's becoming really a really popular way to finance films. Actually, I mean, the BBC interviewed me because I financed it that way. Right. It's like things happening in a lot of places. And that's a really good place to look and to see what people are making. Doing. Yeah. It's like really interesting stuff. Like I'm sailing around the world, helping you finance that. I'm I making, like that project. Yeah. <laughs> that one got a lot of the media. Yeah. Um, but like, you know, I'm making hats, like help me finance, I'm using all natural wool or something, you know, yeah. help me finance my project. And then you, you have to, let's say you say, I'm trying to raise $5,000 and you have a certain deadline. So in three weeks, I'm trying to raise $5,000. And if you make that or more, you get to keep the money. And if you don't make it, then you don't get to keep it. So it's yeah. kind of a gamble. So what happens? Do they refund the people then? Yeah, you, people don't give the money until it's a done deal. Yeah, they, you don't get charged. They just kind of hold your information until the end of the drive. But um, it, it was interesting because I I wrote to Sublime Frequencies before I moved to New York and asked if I could just intern and work for them for free, and they never wrote me back. And I knew I wanted to go to Ethiopia, and I was like, I have nothing to lose. I'm just going to write a couple of people, tell them what I want to do, see if they're interested, because I, I knew I, what was I knew I needed like a goal for the material I was going to collect. So I wrote to a magazine, and said, you know, would you like to have some images? And then I wrote to Sublime Frequencies and pitched this idea for a film and sent me some of my work, and they wrote back, yeah. We'll distribute. We'll give you this much money. We'll print this many copies. You know, sounds awesome. <laughs> and so I go for it. <laughs> so then that was that was enough for me to do it. I mean, I I used that. I that's when I was like, oh gosh, now I need funding. Now I gotta get all the equipment ready. And um, it was a thousand. I only spent five thousand dollars making it. It was a thousand to fly over. And then I spent a thousand like in equipment that I bought, and the rest I paid to everyone that was in the film. Mm -hmm. so, and I I didn't really have to pay for to stay anywhere because I was speaking with people, but you know I'd buy them coffee and yeah. you know it was nice. You know. For that big lady telling to buy a lot of things. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> she loved and she was. They would Oops. feed her in bed. They would like just serve her plates so she would eat from her belly in the bed. <laughs> she was that big. She was that big. I love the idea. Why did you get paired up with her? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They're like, the, her mother's it's, like, she just took me under her wing. She's like, you're my uh, daughter. You know? So her. she mostly kind of took you under her wing. Yeah. She just. Well, like, just at this one, in yeah. this one village. And, um,. <laughs> I mean, she would wake up and she would be like, we couldn't communicate, but her stomach would make noises and she'd be like, and I'd be like, huh? And you'd be like, hmm? Yeah. 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 It was really funny. Yeah. I live with a 19 month old, so it's kind of similar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Totally. No, I guess a few words. <laughs> That's awesome. So, once you, so you did the Kickstarter thing, you got some funding, and then you just kind of bought some stuff and went. Yeah. What kind of research did you do to prepare? A lot of research. I mean, I had been researching Ethiopia for a year prior. Um, Even just to do the pitch, you probably had to do a lot of research. Actually, the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> really cool country, I'm going to go. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, I listed some of the stuff yeah. that was going on there, and I um, sent some links to things that I was interested in, in documenting. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, so I read as much as I could online, and since this was going to be about music, um, I looked at it. There's some videos, like the government has gets all 80 ethnic groups together, and they perform once a year, you know, a couple of songs, so I could see some documentation. Mm -hmm. 
And then I just read everything I possibly could. Everything. Did you 